So if you want to change your heating from temperature or fixed flow temperature to the automatic adjust adjusting weather compensation curve, you can see here it's set to temperature inside the house, and 19 degrees, which is the temperature it's set to inside the house. 22 is the actual temperature it's reading in the house. You press the menu button. So here you've got hot water, heating, uh, temperature schedules, holiday settings, and advanced settings. So you just move the icon over to heating. You press enter. And then you can toggle through interior temperature, flow temperature, or curve. So I generally run mine on curve and leave the two curves. And that's all I need to do to set it on the curve. Now we're going to edit the curve in a second. So we just select that. We go back to the main screen. To edit the curve, we need to press and hold the menu button until the icons go white. They've gone white, you go over to the heating, enter. The edit button has come up on the curve, and you edit the curve. Now we, you can select zone one or zone two. This is the cold end of the curve. This is the warm end of the curve and this is bringing the curve up and down. So in this case, we set the cold end first, so it's set to 49 degrees and minus 3, <coughs> which is fine, or, and we can just select that, or the warm end of the curve, and it's set to 36 degrees at plus 10. And we can move at plus 10 to plus 11, 12, 13, we're down to 8 degrees, so it's set at 36 degrees at 8 degrees, and after that it will maintain that temperature. That's all we need. Out we go. So ideally what you want to do is have 48 or 49 degrees at minus 3, and 36, 37 degrees at plus 9 or 8 degrees. And if you find you need a little bit more heat, that just brings the whole curve up by 1 degree right up to 9 degrees, so you've been out of the house for a few days, house might have got it cold, and you want to set it a bit higher, you can do that. And if you find that the house is heating well, you can try to bring the curve down a little bit, but don't bring it down too much. And if you hear the heat pump switching on and off, bring it back up. That's all you do.